morning, everybody. Hello. I'm so excited. It's Monday. I've been up since like 530. How many in the room have been up since like 530? Raise your hand. Maybe only me. I don't know. Early bird gets the worm. That's what they say. And so Indy and I are here today to talk about another opportunity for all of you to uh, be able to show up and be seen. And this is probably one of my favorite topics to speak about this morning. And Indy's bringing the heat this morning on her topic because she is an expert at building an audience. Remember we talk about, you could be the best coach. You could be the most um, efficient, fluent writer or author. Uh, you could be absolutely the best on stage, but if no one knows who you are, it doesn't matter. So that's why we create platforms for you to show up and be seen. And Indy is an expert at creating opportunities for you to show up and build a massive audience. So Indy Rossi, welcome to our member Monday Spotlight. Thank you, Colleen. Glad to be here. I'm, I'm so honored to have these amazing, amazing members, you guys. Check this out. Uh, she's another expert. We just keep lining them up and bringing them in for you. So if you haven't joined yet, my gosh, come on, leadupforwomen.com. You got to join the movement, especially if you want to be able to continue networking in our Facebook group. You got to make sure you become a member because after September 30th, members only, baby, that's where we stay. We are leading the women that desire to be led. So tell me, Indy, how are you leading people that are desiring to get more exposure and really massively show up? Well, I mean, through our programs, you know, people are going to find the audience that they need and want for their business. But I guess generally, if I can talk about my own experience with my audience, I every day get to lead almost, well, we're at about 220,000 people to see their own nation, basically. I, I guess I can talk a little bit about what my channel is before I get into that. So I have a YouTube channel that I started out of personal interest about India and Indian culture because I just love history, food, movies, and India is a fascinating place. So ended up growing my audience huge in eight months this year. We hit 200,000 at the end of August and I wake up every day and I get to read comments about people who are just so thrilled to see someone taking interest in their own culture. And that's really helped me in my business and in my personal life because I get to, to learn and, and just create this positive expectation for people on a daily basis. So mm -hmm. I love to do that same thing for other people. And that's why I started my YouTube coaching business. Indy, would you say that there are millions of people out there that are hungry for information? Oh, heck yeah. Oh my God, yeah. billions. Yeah. yeah. And when, when I go to Google, this is how I find my information. I'm going to Google to look something up. I'll use myself as an example. I was putting shiplap up. I was using crown molding. Whenever I type in how to, it gives me two, usually two places to go, YouTube or Pinterest. Like Because I have a Pinterest account, that's the other thing that comes up. I use YouTube for every video on how to. So if you're desiring for information and looking for uh, additional information, we generally as population, we go to YouTube. So if you don't have a YouTube account or you're not uh, building an audience on Instagram or YouTube as Indy's gonna talk about right now, you should be because she just said 200,000 subscribers. Those are people that currently don't know who you are. That's a whole new group of an audience. Do you know how long it would take you to build 200,000 followers on Facebook? I haven't met one person yet that has 200,000. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. It is a lot. And you know, YouTube is surprisingly, people don't know this, but it's one place where you can grow a channel really fast. You just know how, have to know how to do it. Instagram, mm -hmm. That's another story, but if you're going to pick two platforms, definitely Instagram and definitely YouTube for yeah. expanding your reach and growing an audience. Yeah. So what was the secret sauce? So give us, I mean, I, we don't want you to divulge too much into everything you do, but I know you're so excited about it that you literally coach people and you guys walk people through how to build their channels what kind of videos they want to put out there based on their lane and their genius, 
what topics they should be speaking about. I am myself working to build, um, and I'm working with Indy um, and her team to build uh, a YouTube channel for Lead Up For Women because I believe it's important for me to uh, continue building the community. And this is an area that's untapped, an untapped market for us. So tell us strategically, what's the secret sauce, you know, of really kind of the steps to get started for that? Okay, so I would say before you start a YouTube channel, if you don't have one already, you should pick a topic that you, would be able to talk about for a long time because YouTube is a long game. Now that doesn't mean that's gonna be exactly what your channel is gonna be about, but you wanna know what you can talk about rather than what you don't want to, but you think you're gonna grow in. Yeah. And so that so, way, yeah, you, like, yeah. let's use the example. I'm not gonna get on there and start talking about how to apply makeup. I'm just being honest, right? Why would I talk about, I have to wear makeup, but it's a have to, because I don't even wanna do that. So. I have zero passion around applying makeup. That's probably not my MO, right? Mine's more business building or, you know, how to build a business or how to show up, right? So all the things that I do in my business today. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't, you don't have to worry about building an audience around things you think are valuable. As long as you get people to get eyes on you and you have that number, you can send them anywhere. Growing an audience around anything is just a massive opportunity for more doors to open. You don't have to have it figured out at the beginning. You just have to start. And I recommend first, I'm just going to recommend this to everyone out there. You don't want to squash it and screw it up in the beginning and like think you're going down this lane and switch to this lane, right? Because we've done this in business before. You want to be very specific when you get on YouTube what your lane is. So I highly recommend that you guys take advantage of what Indy's offering today. And she's going to get to that in a minute. And, and talk with her, work with her. When we are starting something new that's uncharted, or maybe we've started a YouTube channel, and this is what I hear everybody say, Indy, I use it to house my videos. So like mine automatically get uploaded from Facebook Live, like this one will automatically get uploaded to YouTube. And it's just housing. That's how I have my presence on YouTube. That is not a presence, people, on YouTube. You literally are using it as storage to house some videos but you're not doing anything with it. So you're not getting any attention. So I recommend that you contact Indy because she's going to talk with you about what you have existing, what strategies you've got, maybe looking at a possible audit. You know, she's got the answers. So Indy, tell us how, um, what you have an offer for people to reach out to you today. Yeah, so right after this, I'll be posting my link to my Calendly so that you can schedule a free 30 minute call with me so we can discover where we could take you, where we could build your influence and how far we could get you to go. Yeah, and how much Y'all, money she's you got make. a talented team, like mm -hmm. talented team behind her um, of individuals. Obviously she's the face because she's the one on camera, but you know, she can coach you through videoing. She's done thousands of videos. So not only is she talented in the area of helping you build the audience, but really how to present yourself on video and even, you know, short and sweet and how long the video should be. Did you guys know there's a science to that? I didn't either, right? There's algorithms on YouTube, just like there is on Facebook. We need to, we need to tap into our experts to understand how to do that. And ladies, if you do not have a YouTube channel, I'm telling you right now, don't ever complain about not getting enough clients because you're not doing enough, right? Like this is a presence of somewhere that you can have that's going to capture a whole nother audience that you've not tapped into yet. Exactly. Bingo. Mm -hmm. There's clients right there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, Indy. So um, so just just tell us real quick. Um some of your tell us some of your wins with uh with doing the YouTube, you know, give us a little bit of the fun stuff and the wins of uh, being able to lead an audience like that, because you started this to have an audience like that was your whole reason behind this, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I would say my wins are to be totally blunt, YouTube changed my whole life. I started my channel in January and I had no freaking idea what I wanted to do. I quit my waitressing job. I was just like scraping money together and I wanted to do something and I wanted to build the audience. So 
I started the channel on something that really interested me and it just snowballed. The passion combined with the knowledge that I have about YouTube and my team does also just helped me grow so, so fast. And now it's August and I have 200,000 subscribers and I have business opportunities. I have people who reach out to me and want to interview me. I have, I almost went cover of Maxim Magazine when I joined the competition and there was, it was like a voting system and people were voting for me and I got to the, the quarterfinals so close i guess i didn't want it that much but opportunities out the was and it's just mm -hmm. been so exciting for the whole rest of my life just because i started my youtube channel and i committed to it yeah isn't that amazing with perseverance you were a waitress in january then you started a youtube channel and now your business that you're building is helping other people expand a channel on YouTube and be an influencer just like you are. And you're an expert because you've been able to do that. And here's the best part, ladies. She's able to monetize that and make money off of having the channel. Not only is she influencing and building an audience and that's helping her flow clients to her directly, but she's also making money from it. So this is a win-win in every direction for yes. sure. For yeah, sure. it's a no-brainer. Well, Andy, thank you so much for being with us today. And again, you guys, check the comment section. Andy's going to put all of her information down there, how you get a hold of her, how you can have a free call with her. Uh, you can DM her. I suggest you follow her. Make sure you put your YouTube link down there so you guys can go see all of her cute little videos. <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> and I mean that totally respectful, but you know, she's a pro on camera now. So we're, you know, we're all learning how to be comfortable in front of a video camera. So this is your opportunity to learn from the best. Yes. Thank you, Colleen. Right. Yeah. You're so welcome, Indy. Thank you so much for being with us today. All right. You guys have an awesome week and don't forget to show up. All right. We'll see you later. Bye.